Hey everybody, the Bonga's back. Welcome to part 20 of Let's Play Dynasty Warriors 4, brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Okay, in the last episode, we cleared the Wu campaign, and have, as every character, well, except for two, well, I'll do the Wu campaign again later. And we got other campaigns such as Lu Bu and the Nanman to play as, as well. So I'm gonna play as Wei, and I'm gonna pick probably my favorite character in all Dynasty Warriors, Yahoo Doon. You got two character models to start with, this one and this one. I pretty much prefer this one all together. Okay, Act 1, A Hero of Chaos. This is around the time of the Yellow Turban Rebellion again. <laughs> way of peace, my ass. The Han Empire is crumbling! Bring in the age of the way of peace! Peace by killing people! This can't be. Look at them, brother. They level the villages with impunity. This isn't a new age. This is utter chaos! But also, an interesting opportunity for you, cousin. Indeed, chaos can be a powerful ally. First, I shall quell this rebellion, so my name shall be feared. Army, forward! Of course, we never command an army that large whenever we play any levels. The Han Dynasty, long the center of power, suffers from internal strife and corruption. In response to this oppression, numerous uprisings began to surface across the land. Led by their leader Zhang Zhao, the followers of the religious sect known as the Way of Peace rise up in protest to the corruption besieging the land. This revolt came to be known as the Yellow Turban Rebellion, due to the yellow scars worn around the heads of Zhang's followers. In response to this dire situation, the Imperial Court sends out a call to arms across the land, raising an army under the command of General Hei Jin to combat the Yellow Turban threat. Amongst these brave warriors gathered from across the land, the face of the talented and ambitious Zhao Cao can be seen. You pretty much have to do these exact levels all over again, which is pretty much for every campaign like Shu, Wu, and Wei. However, because we've already done these levels, I'm actually going to skip the Yellow Turban Menace, because I believe to go through a special level here, we gotta do the Yellow Turban Fortress and the Yellow Turban Rebellion, but skip this one. So that's exactly what we're going to do. I did do some training on Jaho Dune before we actually started this campaign, so his rank has gone up a little bit. Instead of being able to equip only one item, he can equip two. Of course, every item that you accumulated throughout previous campaigns, you can carry over to other ones. Which is actually going to be very good for us. Taurus Amulet's going to be very valuable because Jaho Dune's stats are pretty low. I mean, he is just starting after all. Of course, we're going to go with our standard bodyguards. I'm going to give them pikes to increase their attack power whenever they level up. Exact same objectives as before. You pretty much know how this is going to go down. Cao Cao will advance from the east and Sun Jian from the west. The volunteer forces may move as they like. Of course, the only difference is where you start. If you remember, when we were the Wu forces, we were on the west side of the map. Only here, we're on the east side of the map. So yeah, Zhao Hu Dun uses a scimitar sword, which is like two hands and has got a very long blade. So, he's actually going to move a little bit faster than Huang Gai, who uses a club. So yeah, you'll have a little bit more range because Huang Gai usually swings from upward to down. Zhao Hu Dun usually swings horizontally. And plus our bodyguards get a nice, nicer color, like in uh, blue with silver. Oh, I like that color a lot. Alright, if I remember correctly, the Musou Wine and the Dim Sum are the exact same locations as they were before. I didn't find one of the items because I was actually like sticking to the circle when I really should have been just going a little bit past it. I believe it's around here. Ah, there's the Musou Wine. I missed it the first time. There we 
go. Sadly, the, uh... Oh! There's a uh, officer. Hey, ye. So I'll deal with him. Of course, my uh, bodyguards are still very powerful. So hopefully they don't steal any kills from me, because I do need the weapon experience. Remember, my weapon's only at level 2, so you're just building up a character again from scratch. You just get a little advantage with the items that you've taken from previous campaigns that can carry over. So hopefully it won't take that long to level up Shahudu moving forward. But I don't think it will. I should let my bodyguards get set to attack mode now. Pretty much just do the rest the way I normally would. Ah, damn it, I got cut off. Once I get better defense, less attacks are going to make me flinch. Alright, so we pretty much just do all this again. Only as a different character. Out of the three kingdoms, I do like Wei the most. Not because they're the most powerful, but because they have the more infamous characters. to the miracles of the way of peace. I farted so forcefully, now I push you all back. There is a way to stop these winds. Keep advancing. Okay, but I can only go so fast. It even moves, as the, it moves the enemy forces. They'll still try to attack you, even with all this wind, though. That's commitment. So I gotta find the source of the wind, which I believe is a bunch of fans, or windmills. Just gotta get to the end of this loop. Oh, there's one. Of course, don't approach them from a front, because you will get knocked around. How many are there? Are there three, or was it four? No, archers! Why are some of the yellow turbans actually walking into the fan blades, anyway? Is this trying to be another example that religion dumbs, dumbs people? Because they are religious and thus acting dumb? I, I think that it's very uh, ballsy and kind of false to make it claim like that. Just blame it on the AI. Really. Archers, gotta go. I gotta take out this other windmill. Wind should stop now. There. Now our troops can advance normally. In the end, it's all cheap trickery. Now eliminate Zhang Bao. I wouldn't exactly call it cheap. They had to use a lot of resources to build this. Hey, what's up? Oh yeah, things are going really well, of course, thanks to these uh, Tiger Amulet and the uh, Tortoise Amulet. The sooner I can level up the Tiger Amulet, the better. So I'm stuck at level 5 for the longest time. That needs to change. I gotta go all the way to the western side of the map as well to get the Dim Sum. Let's clear out this gate, Captain. There. For some reason, my bodyguards just look so much cooler in way colors. I can, like, change it manually if I wanted to, even though I was playing as a different campaign. But I like to mix it up now and then. But so far out of the two colors I've seen, this one is the better. Okay, Chang Yuanji is over here. Damn it. Hey, don't steal my weapon experience. It's my kill. So 
you guys just deal with the troops, I'll deal with these. We'll go see John Bell later on. I'm just so glad that I have a faster character this time. And I mean, he has a much better dash attack, I must say. You don't really have to pay attention to the range because you just gotta do it close to the enemy. It's that much easier to telegraph. There we go. Oh yeah, there's still some officers here too, so we don't need to watch that cutscene. Focus on finding the source. Just remember, you can't kill the phantom troops, but they can possibly kill you. Speaking of kill, you gotta go. Perfect, and I believe the other uh, cauldron was around here. Yep, there it is. Ah, I still managed to hit me. I was going to evade it. There! That's all the phantoms. Can't forget about the dim sum. <coughs> it should be around this spot. Oh, you can jump like Mario now or something! Just flew right in there! So obviously this act is going to be a bit shorter before deliberately skipping one level. For these bo bonus levels that are called Tails levels, not related to Tails of Symphonia or anything, you have to do specific uh, levels and ignore certain ones for some reason. Other cases you may say, oh you have to do all the levels, or in some cases only do the final act. Only the final stage in the act. That's what I mean to say. Or in other cases, you pretty much just have to like uh, clear that campaign first before you have access to the other ones. That being said, however, we'll just like uh, play the campaign the way I'd like to. We must all follow your example. Okay, now let's just go in there and take out John Bow. He's waited long enough. Aw, uh, how great that Sousa and Liu Bei are working together. Pretty soon over the years, they're gonna hate each other. Or find themselves trying to kill one another. That's right, I said, or. You can still like your opponent and want to kill them. I think you're cool, but you must die. Oh, okay then, as long as you respect me in battle. There, just getting some nice weapon experience to go with all this. Oh! There! That was quick. It wasn't meant to be. Yeah, it was. Well, for me at least. There, doesn't he look so badass with that pose? Ah, level one. Oh, thanks. Oh, rank up to 11. Seems to are still at level 2, though. And the upgrade to level 9. Fantastic. Alright, so I'm going to stop the video right here. And in the next episode, we're going to head over to the uh, Yellow Turban Rebellion. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.